This delicious goat platter is a perfect weeknight dinner all for entertaining in just one pot. Hey hey friends, a Chef Wenena here. So this is one of those recipes that actually comes together very easy. All you need to do is just to prep up everything, whatever you need, the goat meat, the vegetables. Once everything is put together, it goes in one pot. In about an hour and a half, your dinner is on the table. So let's go get started with this delicious dinner. So this is actually a two part recipe, even though it's gonna end up in one pot. I have about two and a half pounds of goat meat here. I'm going to open these packets. I get this from my local supermarket. I'm gonna put on some gloves here to work with the raw meat, very important. So once the packets are opened, all I need to do is just to cut the bigger chunks into two pieces or three. I want nice and big chunks. You can leave them whole actually if you want to. Uh, perfect for me. I'm going to transfer this into this bowl. So the first thing we need to do is to marinate this goat meat uh, briefly. So to do that I have some spices here. A teaspoon of cumin, a half a teaspoon of turmeric. I'm going to use a half of each spice. This is a teaspoon of coriander, pinch of dried thyme, paprika, and then I'm going to use some chili powder here. I'm going to use a little bit of garlic, some ginger. I have one lemon here that I'm going to cut, squeeze the juice in here. And then about a tablespoon or so of vegetable oil, a pinch, some salt, some black pepper. And then all I need to do, mix this. And then I'll set this aside to marinate for about half an hour or so. In the meanwhile, I will wash my cutting board and then prep the vegetables that will go with this dish. Just massage it nice. I will set this aside to marinate. So on a new cutting board, I have four potatoes here. These are russet potatoes. I will need to peel this cut them into chunks and then set them aside. So our potatoes are all done here. I will set them aside. Have three peppers here. All I need is just a half of each. Then all I need to do is just remove the seeds and the white membrane. So all I need to do is just cut them into rough strips here. I don't have to worry about the size. This is a rustic dish. Set this aside. I'll take one large onion here, peel this and then just roughly slice it, just like so. The next item here that I have is one green chili, this is optional. I'll cut it in half and then I'll set it aside. I have one small red onion. So what I need to do with this, I need to make some petals. So I'll take this, just peel this, I'll take the core here, then all I need to do with this one is just to break it into these petals here. This is actually optional, but it just makes the dish look uh, nice. So it looks like a lot of onions for the dish. So the half together with the rest of the peppers, I'll put them aside for a future use. So our small prep is all done here. So all we need to do is just wait for the goat meat to finish marinating. So our goat meat has been marinating for about half an hour. I'm going to heat a, here a medium sized pan, add some vegetable oil, about two tablespoons. Once the oil is all hot, we are going to add the goat into the pan and start browning. So after about five minutes or so of sizzling here, the meat has nicely browned on one side. So we want to come in and turn it to give the other side the same effect. 
This is a very important stage when you are cooking, browning your meat. Leave it alone to brown the other side. Once the goat meat is all browned, I'll come in and add the rest of our ginger, garlic. At this point, I will also add the rest of the spices, our coriander, in no particular order, chili powder, the turmeric, paprika, thyme, and our cumin. Give all this a good stir. Let it good absorb all this. At this stage, I'll add in the onions. I will put a lid on this, cook for about five minutes to soften the onions. have nicely caramelized, the goat has assumed a very deep brown color. I'll heat this with some tomato paste, about a teaspoon, splashing about a tablespoon or so of Worcestershire sauce, and then remember we never seasoned this, salt and pepper. I'm going to add about a cup or so of beef broth. This is store-bought. This is just to help the goat sometimes tends to be tough. So you wanna make sure that it's almost cooked before you introduce the potatoes and the vegetables. So I'm going to cover this. Lower the heat and cook it on medium low, about 20, 25 minutes. The goat has been bubbling here for about 20 minutes or so. Give this a stir so all the broth has been absorbed. Time to introduce the vegetables. So we'll come in with the potatoes, the peppers, and I'm also going to add a heaping of cilantro. Season this with some salt and pepper. Give this a stir. The goat is almost cooked now. All we need to do is just to cook the vegetables, the potatoes. I will occasionally come back, give everything a stir to prevent any sticking at the bottom of the pan. has been cooking here for some time now about 30 minutes or so on very low heat we need to check the potatoes potatoes are cooked through we came in and added the onion petals in the middle of cooking and this dish is done all I need to do give it a heaping of cilantro turn off the heat ready to serve Just finish it with some cilantro. You're gonna have to dig into this platter. The potatoes are nicely cooked. Look at that good. Pulls away very, very easily. Gonna give it a bite. Mm. Come back for some of the potatoes. Mm. 
Look at that. So friends, all I can say, this is one of those recipes. The name perfectly fits the dish. Just set it on a platter, put it on the table on a weeknight or when you are entertaining and you got yourself a perfect dish that you, your family or your friends will definitely enjoy. I hope you can be able to try it uh, one of these days and I'm sure you will enjoy it. Just remember to subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching this one. I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy more of this.